Welcome back, it's good to see you. So you've been recommended to watch this video from myself or one of the other coaches on the team. And the reason we've suggested this video for you is because you're scoring really high in the characteristic of openness. Openness is one of the big five qualities. And in openness, while there's several good aspects to openness, and it's certainly a positive thing in our life, and it does correlate with having a good life satisfaction and a healthy long life, being too open carries some risks. So we wanna make sure that you're aware of these risks and that you're keeping them in mind, right? So we wanna give you a couple skills to have in your back pocket so you can balance this out a bit. We're not suggesting for you to be less open. What we're suggesting you is to be aware of how you apply your openness how you use it and then it's working for your benefit. For example, that you're using your openness to be creative in your work, to create nice things, uh, to improve the quality of your relationships, to give you a happy, balanced life. So one of the first things we wanna ask you is how grounded are you? Being grounded is very important for people who are really open because if we're, um, I don't know if you're familiar with the concept of being grounded, but you might imagine, uh, you might have heard the term of someone being flighty. Someone who's flighty is kind of floating in the air all the time. They're kind of swimming between different things. They're going from one thing to the other thing, really not finishing anything because they're so open and flighty to new things. Before they even finish the one awesome thing that they started, they've already started the next thing. So we wanna make sure that you're grounded and finishing the things that are important for you that you need to work on. So a couple simple grounding exercises is do maybe a standing meditation. And during this standing meditation, imagine kind of a ball of energy under the floor, under your feet, that's really holding you down. Kind of really feel your weight on your feet and feel the earth pulling you down. Enjoy that feeling of being grounded. And whenever you're meditating for the next few weeks, take a moment to check in with how grounded you are. Just be grounded, really important as a part of your regular meditation practice. The other thing with openness is make sure that you're protecting your health, that you're not engaging in, um, be aware of any risky behaviors. Are you taking good care of your health? Are you taking um, caution with the kind of things, kind of activities you're doing when you're doing some kind of sport or some kind of recreational activity that you're taking reasonable safety precautions, that you're doing it with people who know what they're doing and that you're just you know, being sensible, just being sensible and keeping things in balance. The other thing we want to ask you when you're very open is, are you exercising enough common sense in your relationships? When you're getting to know someone, are you taking the time to get to know them step by step instead of diving into a relationship too fast and kind of overdoing things? Are you giving yourself little pauses? Take little pauses. It's good to take a little pause, take a meditation, take a few breaths, in a new relationship, take a break from someone for a day or a couple days, be grounded again, meditate, see who you are, see where you're going, and make sure that the new experiences you have in your life are contributing to the big picture of your life. And congratulations, openness is a really great quality. It's a great thing to have in your life. It does correlate with health and happiness over the long term. We just wanna make sure that you're not overdoing it, that you're balancing out the risks that can pop up from time to time. So I hope that helps bring up any questions you have with your coach in the next session. And it's good to see you. Have a great day.